Alright, so now that we have our height blending automatically working, there are some things that we still want to do to change in our landscape. The first thing is to modify the work mask so that if you would really zoom out, we can see all this tiling repeating, like this is a material, and we want to avoid this tiling and there are several ways to do that but there are some tips here one you don't always need to do this you don't always need to avoid the tiling because as you add more and more materials and then you add more elements in your scene such as houses and all these things you don't really need to do this because you won't be able to see it uh, however um, we still will check it in case your game has a really huge environment then for sure it can be helpful sometimes so let's get started let's what well, the way we're gonna do it is like we're going to apply a texture here that will be projected in our scene and let's say the texture has a mass like this okay and all these parts will be darker okay and then we have small little parts here so this texture will apply to everything regardless of where you are and we're gonna overlay this texture on top of the landscape so if this is our landscape layer and um, we have our painting here we're going to create a new layer here that will multiply this layer these values with another texture so this is the way we're gonna do it and to do that let's go to our material and here we have you can see we have our base color here uh, let's just say this is our landscape so this is our layer this is our landscape here okay this is one and then we need to add another line of code here to put some color so you can have the variation here okay so how will we do that first we need a texture so if we go to our mega scans surfaces go to texture we can grab any of these textures for example this one and let's just grab this one here to our landscape master let's change this to wrap and let's change to parameter let's say uh, macro variation texture all right the second thing we need to do is to modify the UV so if we hold U we can apply the texture coordinates or you can just type te texture coordinates just like that then we multiply this one and then we will put a very small value so it can be very big Maybe it's something like this. Okay. Uh, you can see it's very big here. Now what we need to do is multiply this one. So it's like hold M to multiply and get our base color. And what we're going to do is to get the red channel. Okay. And then we'll go connect this one to the base color. And there we have. That's our basic setup. It really is just that simple. Of course, we can have other textures that we can use, but for now, let's use this one for now. And you can see, I already see a difference here. You can see these parts are darker and these parts are brighter. Let's, let's remove our fog for a moment. Okay, so you can see I already have a lot of variation just by using one texture. And of course, this helps as as we, you know, get more get far in distance. You can see more contrast here, and this really works really nice. It works really nice. However, there are some things that we can do. First of all, uh, we want to clamp our values. So let's clamp our values here and the reason is we don't want 
this to you know go beyond zero and one right so let's keep all the values here and then I will multiply this one and put another constant let's say macro texture intensity and we can put one and then we can do a power node where we can m maybe call it macro texture contrast and we will put one and nothing will happen nothing will happen for now because we haven't really changed anything but look what will happen here when we go to our material instance okay you can see you can see the macro texture variation working here and now we can adjust let's let's get rid of the shadow so let's something like that okay so we can see clearly okay so this is our mask and what we can do is to change our contrast you can see it has applied to all my all my texture sorry that was the slope contrast macro texture contrast you can see how as I reduce it or as I increase it, I increase the sharpness of it. You can also increase the intensity, maybe like four. I can see it's much, much more evident here. You can also put like, as you say, contrast like 1.6 or maybe reduce the contrast like 0 0.5 or 0 0.8. And now you have uh, much more nicer blending and the other thing you can do is to change the tiling which we haven't changed here so let's convert this to macro texture tiling and let's apply okay and now if we go here let's wait for the shaders to compile okay we can change the tiling you can multiply by 10 to make it smaller uh, you can see how it affects small little things you can divide by 10 you can divide by 2 maybe to make it bigger and this is how you create your tiling for your for your map I will go for the default value I think it's I think it's a nice value for now Maybe put 0 0.8. Yeah, something like that could work. Maybe put 0 0.9. Okay. Just go back for this one. There is one more thing. And instead of multiplied, we can actually use overlay. So here, the result, what I can use is to instead, we can use you can use this one here as a base and then we will blend it with this one and then we will put the result here okay let's just put this one as a base here we won't use the multiply for now and instead of darkening things we will kind of lighten it light things out I can see what what happens is the overlay actually change a lot our landscape so keep that in mind okay let's go back to our multiply and you can do a lot of things here but let's let's keep the let's just keep the macro texture variation working like this okay and let's increase the contrast Increase the intensity and there you go now we have something that we can we can use okay, let's see 0 0.4 something like that and this will help a lot to create some macro variation in our scene and if we're here you can see we have some 
variation and that's it and now we can have a more realistic landscape where everything you know looks not so repetitive so if you like this video give us a like subscribe let us know in the comments which kind of video you would like to see and if you're making a game check the links in the description to get some help from our free resources and i'll see you in the next one